being busy and actually being productive are both two different things. When you're busy, you might be doing work, but is the work necessary? Is it writing a book in a deep work state? Or is it replying to some emails for any benefit they could give? When you're productive, that's when the fun starts. It's when you start to do only what's necessary with your full intention and engagement. When you're productive, that means that you're spending your time correctly. But when you're busy, that means that you're spending your time. See, there is a difference between being productive and being active. Do you understand me? Have you ever heard of a flow state? A flow state is basically like a state of mind where you are so purely focused on doing the the main task that you're doing right now, the work, that you can't even imagine of thinking about anything else than the task you're currently doing. You're like, you're like so purely focused, your whole body, your whole mind is attached into doing that one task that you're currently doing and nothing else. People who play sports can, a lot of them can say what actually is a flow state because they probably have been in their state before. Let's say before recording all, all, all of this, the videos today, I had to write down a script so that I can read off a script and don't just say some bullshit to the camera. I would say the other day I was writing the scripts, I would say that I was in a flow state whilst writing them. I was just purely focused on the work. See, and this is the exact state of mind where you want to be during your work hours. You don't just f*** around doing unimportant stuff, but you do focused, intensive work. That is not boring, but that is intensive and exciting for you to do. The work should be literally on the verge of your creative work capabilities. Your brain should be drained after completing such an exhausting task. That's when you know that you've done some good work today. You haven't distracted yourself with phone or any other stupid devices, but just you were purely focused on that main task. And it should not take you more than about two hours. Experts can do like four hours of deep work, which are experts. You are not, you are not an expert. Trust me when I say this, that you are not an expert. So just stick to the one or two hours of doing deep work daily. You see, in order to produce on the highest level, you need to learn how to concentrate on on that one task for long periods of time. And my advice on that would be to separate a different block of time in your daily routine, in your day. Separate, let's say, a two hour window uh, along your day where you are just closed in your room and you are doing like deep work. You aren't distracting yourself on the internet. You aren't doing anything but the work that you have to do. Let's say your school assignments, because I know that they are due tomorrow and you still haven't done them. And if you separate, if you write down on a piece of paper that tomorrow I will do work uh, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., those two hours of deep work, and I will not be distracting myself whilst doing it. If you do this, then the second step to, to do this actually is to just tell everybody, your friends, your family, to not distract yourself whilst you will be in this place. Just say everyone that you might encounter uh, during those work hours that you will not be available for those two hours of the day. Boom, that's it. You see, the key to your deep work sessions is first a very quiet place away from any distractions, anything that will distract you whilst doing the work. The second thing is that to produce actually on the highest quality, you need to stay consistent and do those two hour windows of deep work every single day, not just on a Saturday morning, but like every day, seven days a week, so that it will actually become a routine for you. Because the best thing you can do for yourself, for your productivity is to make a routine. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You do the same tasks, at the same time, at the same place, in the same way. I personally like to do this in the mornings because like right now it's literally a part of my morning routine, you know? I brush my teeth, I make my bed, I meditate, I grab the journal, I write down my goals, I I do, I hit some push-ups and right after that I get to work on my YouTube channel. Right now it's just a part of my routine which is like a very good thing for my productivity because I am used to doing some high quality work at the same time each and every day.
and after I get done, I just close my computer and I don't have to think about anything YouTube related, my work related for the rest of the day. And that's the best thing you can like do for yourself is to once you complete the work, once you do the work, then just clo close, close down the computer and you don't have to do anything else for the rest of your day. And if you got everything checked off, then you're good to go. Now you are able to produce on an elite level, no matter what your task may be. So stay abnormal and stay productive, not active.